Antarctica, the most remote, unforgiving and inhospitable environment on Earth. Just the mention of this faraway land is enough to make any traveller's eyes light up. For us, we not only get to experience the wildness and the wonder, we get to do it in complete six-star ultra luxury on the scenic cliffs. Getting to Antarctica is nowhere near as arduous as you might expect. After flying into Ushuaia, we board scenic eclipse, ready to take on the Drake Passage. Ushuaia is our last sight of land before we head off into the sunset. And it's our cue to settle in for the adventure of a lifetime. And soak in the superior comfort of what is arguably the finest discovery yacht on the water. And the accommodation on board is next level. But I'm told that my suite is something else again. This is the Grand Panorama Suite, and it's over 100 square metres of pure opulence. From the full-size bath to the oversized balcony, this takes being on the high seas to a whole new level. But in fact, every suite on board is guaranteed to impress. All 114 of them are spacious, beautifully appointed, and come complete with butler service. Well, we're right in the middle of the Drake Passage, one of the most infamous bodies of water on Earth. And if you're going to Antarctica, you have to cross this. Now, you can be really lucky and have this as smooth as a mill pond, and that's called the Drake Lake. But you can also get what's called the Drake Shake, when these seas are five or six metres. Our voyage so far fits somewhere between those two scenarios, but it's all been smooth sailing thanks to Scenic Eclipse state-of-the-art stabilizing system. We call them oversight stabilizers. Her design is it's very long and narrow. Her bow is very sharp, so she really cuts nicely, even through these swells which are coming head to us. Scenic Eclipse has an open bridge policy, so generally you can access it 24 hours a day. I'm hoping to meet every one of our guests, and try to remember their names and faces. So it's very nice to meet them initially on the bridge, which is my working environment. I feel comfortable here. Then you meet them later in the restaurant for breakfast or lunch, and you interact. It's really like a small family at the end of the cruise. You know everybody. Everybody knows you. Our arrival to the Antarctic Peninsula is earlier than expected. And fortunately, Scenic is ready to adapt to give us the best experience on offer. You know, one of the great things about traveling with Scenic is that at any opportunity, they'll put you on the water. We've just arrived on what they call a surprise and delight. I can tell you, I'm very surprised and completely delighted. Look at this. Where else in the world do you see anything like this? No, it's incredible. This is Fornia Bay, and it's a wonderful taste of what's to come. So much to take in. It's, it's another world. It is another world. I sailed with an astronaut, and he described it exactly as being the closest thing to going to outer space. You get on your ship, you're underway for a couple days, and then you arrive to an unworldly place. Otherworldly is a very accurate description of this surreal and spectacular landscape. Well, this iceberg is basically frozen, right, obviously, but it's snow that's fallen hundreds, if not thousands of years ago. But once it's broken off the glacier face, it could be out here for years and sometimes even decades, depending on the size of the iceberg. You know, the one animal that I really, really wanted to see here was a leopard seal. And this is just day one. He's just having a nice snooze right in front of the cliffs. Incredible. And the pinch me moments just keep coming. Just when you think it couldn't get any better, we're right next to a humpback and a baby. 